Hi guys, welcome back to Refreshing Motherhood. Today I thought it would be fun to do kind of like a little chatty, get ready with me style video and a little Ulta haul for you. So I don't know if you've ever had those moments where all of your makeup runs out or something happens to it at the same time and you're like, oh my goodness, I have a hefty bill coming my way because I have to replace everything. Well, that just happened to me, and I decided to try a few new things with the recommendation and help of my sister, who's a makeup artist, and I'm excited to give them a try and to kind of show you along the way. So, Denver is watching a movie right now. She's teething a little bit, so I thought it'd be nice for her to just relax. So if you hear Monsters University, that is her favorite movie right now. That's what's in the background. Um, so I'm excited. I got a bunch of new things. Um, I don't have anything on my skin right now, so I'm going to test them out and do a little first impressions of, you know, everything that I got for you today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. So I've never actually used a primer before, but um, my makeup does kind of wear off by the end of the day, and I don't really love that, so my sister suggested trying it and um, bare minerals or any mineral based makeup is supposed to be a lot gentler and easier on your skin and I have really sensitive skin so um, I'm hoping that this will be good so I'm gonna try this out I don't know I'm just gonna do one little pump here it feels really like silky on your skin so now what I'm gonna do is if I have a product that I'm replacing I'm gonna show you what I used to use and what I'm using now so this is concealer. So I'm getting the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I've heard lots of good things about this concealer. So this concealer is in the color Light Sand. Um, it's definitely a little bit lighter than like you would think, but it's gonna help brighten my eyes a lot. So I'm replacing <laughs> this disaster here. Denver actually broke the glass bottle of my um, Naked Concealer. So you can see she like broke the tip off. So I've been trying to use it in this baggie and I just was like, I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> um, so um, I am trying this one out. I liked this one, but it wasn't my favorite. So I definitely um, have been hearing a lot of good things about Tarte. So I really wanted to try it. So along with um, concealer, I got these little um, makeup sponges. So um, I got a large one for my foundation, but then these little mini ones are for concealer. And I thought they were so cute and um, will hopefully help my concealer crease less. You can have a little, you know, kind of apply it like that. So let's give it a try. So this is like a really big like wand, but I'm just going to do a little bit to start off with. Honestly, my first impressions of these little sponges is I don't know if I love them. Like, I feel like it really... I don't know if I just didn't have enough on, but I feel like it took away some of the coverage of this concealer. I don't know. I don't, I'm going to have to try this out a little bit more and see how I feel, see if I love it because right now it seems to be taking too much time too, like more time than it would take if I just did it with my fingers. Okay, the next thing I got is a big one for me. This is my first ever liquid foundation. I've always used the like face powder. Um, this one's from Clinique, which I've been using for a while, which I do like. I do like a really light coverage, but I've been having a lot of hormonal breakouts, um, especially since my miscarriage. Um, and I just feel like I want to try something that's maybe a little bit more coverage. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Um, this is a full coverage liquid foundation, and I don't want a full coverage, but my sister was just telling me that if you get a full coverage foundation, you just use less, and you can use it as a um, lighter coverage like you don't have to use like the full amount just start off slow and light and really blend it in everywhere so that's what I'm gonna try today you guys and I'm gonna use my bigger um, spongy spongy so let's try it So I barely used any and I'm getting such a light light coverage on this. Like this was only one pump and it still have a bunch on my hand. But it feels really good on my skin like I can't even feel it at all on my skin. But so far I actually really like it. So this one is a matte finish. 
and so I shouldn't need to like set it with any any specific powder or anything I'm not sure if I love this color like I almost I'm worried that it's a little too yellow for me but I don't know I might just might not be used to it completely yeah I don't know I think it's too yellow I totally think it's too yellow two. you have two okay so I just kind of finished up some of the um, bronzer and stuff like that of things that I did not revise so if you want to see how I do that go check my last um, everyday makeup look routine so the next thing I did get though is a repurchase of the Revlon color stay eyeliner um, I've used this for a long time and it's my favorite one I always rebuy it it's cheap it works really well um, I like the color I like a really simple like applicator tip um, and I like that it has a little smudge brush on the end so this is what I use all the time so I'm gonna put some of the eyeliner on so this is the color black brown and the tip looks a little messed up it probably got hot in the car so it's been so hot here You guys know that I just also repurchased the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, so usually when I like repurchase a mascara, I try to use up like the first coat of a mascara. I'll use my old one um, because when you're used to using like a mascara that's old and like not much in there and it's kind of dried up, um, your lashes can get used to it. And then once you start using like a like heavier, like brand new, super wet, thick mascara. Again, it like makes mine like drop really instantly. So I'll do the first coat in my old one, then the second coat in my new one for a couple weeks, and that'll kind of like help make the transition to like then just going into using this all the time. So I'm gonna pop some mascara on, and then I'll show you the last little thing that I got. Okay, and finally, who does not like free stuff? I got this little Bare Minerals Tester um, lip gloss, and I'm super excited about it. So this is the Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color, and my sample is in the color Boss, and it's like so cute and tiny, um, but the color looks so pretty. I'm like super excited about it. Let me see if I can show you. Isn't that like so pretty, you guys? I think that's gonna be such a pretty color for fall. And if I love it, maybe I'll have to go get it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little lipstick thing I've ever seen. It actually smells really good. Okay, I totally love this color. I think it's so pretty. Well guys, this is my little niece, Brooklyn. Denver and I are babysitting her today. So this is my final look. I thought I would end it with this cutie in my arms. Hi, say hi, Bricky. Hi, Bricky. I really am happy with all of my purchases. I'm a little worried about the color of my foundation. I think it's too yellow. So we'll have to see. Let's see it in some different lighting see how it looks it doesn't look oh it's bright out here oh it's so bright out here <laughs> it doesn't look too bad here in the bathroom it looks a little bit yellow so we'll see <gasps> do you, you want to say bye too <gasps> say bye bye we'll see you in the next video little kisses Okay guys, it has been a few days and I did end up exchanging out that foundation for a different color because it was way, way, way too yellow. So the color I ended up getting was Light Natural 09 and I really like this color. It's so much better, fits my skin type better, especially going into winter. The other one was just too yellow, too dark. I did not not like it, but once I got the right color and I started wearing it, I have absolutely fallen in love with everything that I got. I'm really excited. I'm excited that I went ahead and tried a liquid foundation. I can't even feel it on my face. It lasts all day long. The primer is like so silky and everything has just been turning out really, really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what kind of video you want to see from me next and subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. And have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.